Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! Sorry Odette, it seems that the skunk button only changes you back into a skunk temporarily. Okay, before we get started, I need to bring this up just one more time, just in case we have anybody new watching. Some of the maps in this game are a little bit on the laggy side, Something to do with there being too many active light sources, such as the one right over to the right over there. Good news is, it does not affect your ability to play, so as long as you can endure a low frame rate, it's really no big deal. Anyway, when we last left off, Odette's apprentice, Jane, has decided to get revenge on Odette for treating Jane like dirt for the past couple of years. Jane has used the power of the evil flowers to change Odette into a cow. It is definitely a transformation I am kind of fond of, but Odette, not so much. Which is interesting considering a bunch of the people Odette has turned into animals for trespassing in her evil garden. She changed a bunch of them into cows because she thinks cows are cute. But not a, fan, not a fan of being turned into a cow herself. I mean, I definitely get it. I spent a couple of years as a skunk, and despite skunks still being my favorite animal, I am definitely much more at home being a raccoon. Anyway, Jane's intent is to change Odette completely into a cow, much like Odette does with her prisoners, but Odette recently acquired this mermaid star and got it all powered up. The mermaid star is an item you receive for proving yourself to be a friend to mermaids. And when Jane noticed this, she decided that maybe, just maybe, Odette can redeem herself. So she has given Odette a chance to get through this dungeon and solve one final puzzle to be changed back to normal. As an aside, this revenge is definitely kind of... deserved. Odette is kind of a prick. So much so that she... Oh, what is the word? Something with ire? Don't know. Point is that the townsfolk of Lakeside Town have banded together to form a mob against Odette. And in the process, they have been caught up in this revenge situation and brought into this dungeon with Odette. So, not only do we need to change Odette back to a skunk, but also need to maybe also ensure that the town folk get out of here safely as well. What a horrible place! Welcome to the Sorcerer's King's Castle. You wanted to know why those flowers are so important? Take a look around you. This is what you get when people get a hold of my flowers. So you were protecting us from this? Yeah, and look at the thanks I get for all my hard work. So... If you turn alkaline into... Ugh, all you people do is whine, whine, whine. I don't know anybody's Uncle Ed. Stop asking. I mean, it's still entirely possible you turned Uncle Ed into a deer. Or some other animal. Seriously, Odette, you probably should have actually told everybody those flowers were evil. Maybe you wouldn't have been in this situation to begin with. Maybe Jane would not have messed with the flowers had she known that they would influence her in such a way. Because she does seem to be not quite herself. That's what happens whenever you mess with evil flowers. Okay, I'm going to use one of the keys I acquired to unlock this. I don't necessarily need to, but might as well. 
I want to have all the things unlocked. Okay, what is down in this direction? A pig maze. Along with a thing that I can push around? Uh, do I want to push it around? Or maybe that's not actually a thing. Stairs over here as well. Which leads to the other side of the right side of that room. Well, means we don't necessarily have to go find all the keys. I'm gonna try anyway. Looks like there's a key right up there. So where does this lead? To another person from town. The chef brother. With a hunk of rock like this, I could pay the mortgage on my pub. I wouldn't touch that if I were you. Why? Is it magic? In case you haven't noticed yet, everything here is magic. So, uh, no debt. I guess you won't be eating any of my burgers anytime soon? This is temporary, I swear. I'll admit, I spent a bit of time as a pig, and that kind of took away my appetite for pork for a while. I kind of wouldn't mind eating some pepperoni pizza again, though. But at the same time... I don't know if I really want to. I don't know, pigs are kind of cute. Okay, so that opened up that path, that's good. That is probably going to be the way out of this dungeon to meet up with Jean, wherever she is. Or whatever her real name is. It's not really her real name. We've kind of been making up her name. And that's part of the reason why Jean is mad at Odette. Mad that Odette has been purposely getting her name wrong for the past couple of years. Okay, so I still have one small key. Is there another place where I could have gotten a key? Well, here's this path. If I use this other key on that block, where would I get a third key? I might have missed something. Down here is going to be a bridge where we just saw that platform up here, and there's also a lock down there. So there's got to be another key we could get somewhere, that way we don't get soft locked. Perhaps this way. Yeah, we haven't gone this way yet. Here we go. I think. Maybe? Actually, I don't know. Uh, here's the mural advisor who was leading the mob. Ooh, a little cow! How cute! I'm not a cow! Well, looky, I am a cow, but only temporarily. It's me, Odette. The witch, Odette. Oh, it's you. Really? <laughs> Serves you right. It kind of does. I mean, yeah, there is a good reason why Odette's been changing people into animals. She wants to protect her flowers. But I feel like she's definitely been going at it the wrong way. Okay, so this just opened up the other thing to get down to that one locked area. Doesn't really answer the question, where is... Hold on a sec. Can I walk over this? Oh, there we go. I don't know if this is what I'm intended to do, but... Oh yeah, this is definitely what I'm intended to do. Walk over the pigs. 
Red ones are a little hard to see in the lava. And then we can walk across here. Uh, I feel like we could have walked up just from here, but let's just assume that this is how we're supposed to do it. Anyway, yeah. Definitely should have been telling people the reason why they shouldn't mess with the flowers. Oh, there's a treasure chest over there that is likely where the remaining key is. Okay, I see this here. Uh, hopping across these is going to be tricky. Especially if I keep walking off the bottom. I'm trying to give myself room to get a walking start to hop across here. Timing is tricky. Uh, long jump. Long jump. Failed jump. Uh, why is that jump particularly difficult? Why are any of these jumps particularly difficult? There we go. Darn it. There we go. Finally. And that allows us to... Oh, did you see that? This treasure chest was momentarily under the... platform that it's sitting on. Must be a trigger here that determines whether me and objects are under the bridge or over them. Anyway, there's the last key. Now to get back... Hopefully getting back is easier than getting here. I don't know whether to blame the lag or to blame it being difficult to tell where the edge of these walkways technically is or what. I would like to not blame the lag. If it is, this would actually be the first occasion where the lag actually made things difficult. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, sure. Oh, we're gonna have to deal with this every time I fail here, aren't I? I'm glad that doesn't actually break anything. The waiting is definitely a little annoying. Okay, I'll admit this game isn't perfect. But I've definitely been enjoying it. Part of what makes this difficult is knowing how far you can go before I need to jump. Yeah, let's do a running jump. I got plenty of room for a running jump, and I failed anyway. Ah, finally. Don't fail this jump. Should have did a running jump there. Okay. Although I don't have much room to do a running jump there. I mean, part of the problem might be I might be not holding the jump button down long enough. Don't know. Because you can control your jump height, and I might be landing in the lava sooner than I'd like. And by that I mean not jumping far enough. Okay. We're ready to move on now. We have acquired all three keys. In fact, now that we have all three keys, I might as well go ahead and unlock this path over here. That's not the path. I suppose... I suppose I'm more willing to forgive this game's shortcomings because... It does have its good moments. In fact, it's got a lot of good moments. Overall, this is definitely a decent game. So whenever we have hiccups like what I'm dealing with here, 
it's just easy for me to forgive since it doesn't mar the entire game. Kind of like how in Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, there's some areas with some awful backtracking. Just terrible. And yet the game overall is still decent, so I can't hate on Thousand Year Door because of it, because overall I enjoy myself, and that's kind of the same here. This game has some occasional hiccups, but overall, I enjoy myself. I'm sure you all have that sort of game, where you know that it's not perfect, it's definitely got some obvious issues, but you can't help but enjoy it anyway. Okay, we got two stairways. That turns me this way. Do I want to bother riding on that platform? Not when I can just go this way. I can't go this way. How do I want to handle this then? Well, I guess we do want to ride this platform then. Go ahead and hit that. You know, looking at the way th these platforms and the ones over there are in sequence, I feel like maybe I wasn't intended to go across that one side backwards. Maybe this is intended to be one way. Let's perhaps assume that. No, we can't assume that because I'm not making my way back otherwise. Let's just go ahead and go through these three over here in the wrong direction. Actually, I don't have to. I can just do this. Simple. Oops. That was just bad timing on my part. Admittedly, I expected these platforms to kind of sit still when they reached the edge. Oh, now we need to wait for this to line up like that. Awesome! Okay, I'm going to save now. Because we're somewhere near the end and I really want to save before we reach the end. Oh, this is where this stairway leads. Okay, how many laps am I going to need to make in order to get that to line up? I'm fairly certain it'll line up. Maybe it won't, although I have a plan B. Yeah, it's not going to line up, so I need to do a running jump. Like so. Jumping up is definitely a little bit trickier, because not immediately obvious how close you are to the edge of the platform, because you can go pretty far up to the edge of the platform, but I kind of freak out because it looks like I'm already walking off the ledge. Oh, I don't have to jump. Anyway, my point is, I would wind up jumping a little too early, but in this case I didn't actually have to jump anyway. Okay, what is that doing for me? Uh, let's go back from here. If, if I can. Now, one way or another, I'm going to have to do a jump from some sort of ledge. There we go. That room's kind of quiet. What is down in this other direction? Oh, this is just the other side of this. Alright. 
So multiple ways to reach the end. Speaking of which, music going away tells me we're at the end. It's a good thing Odette was able to use those parry wings to auto jump to the stairway. There you are. Odette! I didn't think you'd make it. I've been dealing with puzzles and mazes all day. Do you really think this castle would do anything but slow me down? No, I suppose not. Okay, I, I, I absolutely love this twisted version of the menagerie theme. But it was difficult, wasn't it? For unexplainable reasons, yeah. So much effort to get here. Did you want to be changed back that badly? Or were you hoping I'd transform you the rest of the way? After all, you'd have so many fewer things to worry about as a big, dumb cow. No, I'm here to keep you from going even further off the deep end. Listen, all this stuff isn't meant for people like you, so just, uh, stop, okay? Ha! Recognize my little court, Odette? They're the mercenaries I hired to steal your flowers. Ah, uh, yep. That is the situation. Jane is the one responsible for the flowers being stolen in the first place. There's definitely some clues to that. Don't know if you've noticed those clues. That was you? With my powers, doing to you what you did to my mercenaries would merely take a snap of my fingers. How would it sound to spend the rest of your life on a farm? Oh, don't give me that look, Odette. You would be quite privileged. You wouldn't have a care in the world, just like my friends here. But I suppose you're chomping at the bit to solve that riddle of mine. Champing. Excuse me? It's champing. Champing at the bit, not chomping. Well, somebody has a pet peeve. Perhaps the game creator? I'll admit I've gotten this wrong myself. And I do also have my own pet peeves. Let's see here. How many times do people use the words would and of? Like would of or could of. No, that is bad grammar. It's actually would of and could of. A contraction of would have and could have. Of is not the actual word in use. It just sounds like of, because some people are terrible at enunciating. Myself included. Oh, for hell's sake. This is why no one takes you seriously, Jane. It's champing! Champing! Oh, shut up, you hideous cow. This is why nobody likes you. I thought you liked me. Really? You were, were you really that stupid the whole time? Well, I mean, Odette did think that turning people into farm animals and offering them as food was benevolent. So yeah, probably. Ah, oh, gods, it feels so good to insult you after all this time.
Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Okay, I'm ready. If you cannot solve my riddle, I'm sure you'll make a farmer somewhere very, very happy. And if I can solve it, I will relinquish all of my power and return once again to being your humble servant. And of course, I'll change you back into your normal, stinky self. Sound fair? Okay, first off, I don't stink. Second, yes, yes, that sounds very fair. Hit me with your best riddle. Very well. What is my true name, Odette? Oh boy. I hope you guys have been paying attention. Because this is where you can fail the good ending and get the bad ending. Um... Well, I said I would show off the bad ending. Let's say your name is... Mick Person I must admit Awfully good for a guess Um If by good I hope you mean That's kind of funny But not good enough Can I get a move over or, I mean a do-over. Do-over. Oh, Odette. You're going to be doing much, much more mooing when I'm through with you. But don't worry. I'm sure you won't keep any of your memories once I've completed the transformation. Okay, bad touch. That is a feat worse than death. Not being killed but being replaced. Having no memory of who you were once were. No, you're effectively erased. That is no longer you. You'll live quite a blissful life. I'm almost doing you a favor here. Not even close. Identity death is the worst. Goodbye, Odette. I'd say it's been a pleasure knowing you, but it hasn't. Since I met you, my life has been nothing but misery. I truly despise you. I feel the same way as Moo Moo. Er... Are those your last words? Or would you like to say something more? Moo. That's what I thought. And that's a thing. Oh, Odette. You're so much more pleasant to have around as a cow. Don't you agree? Actually, I almost like you this way. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Good motivation for wanting to get the good ending, though. Her memories erased. Don't want that. Now let's see here. No, let's not load that one. Let's load this one. No, not that one. Where's the one I want to load? There we go. This is the one before we get the last orb. Before we get the Mermaid Star charged. As a reminder, you need to do those things in order to avoid the bad ending. Just real quick, I want to show you what happens whenever you just flat out get the bad ending. No chance to redeem yourself. Most of the cutscene that played out prior to the bad ending plays out the same. Where you have the mob and... Jane taking control of the flowers, 
So let's get to where things branch off. You'll live the rest of your life as my servant. So, role reversal? I think I could get into that. Always fun to switch things up for a night. Oh no, Odette. So much more than that. But you'll find out soon enough. What? What did you did you move to me? Moo? <laughs> Don't worry, Odette. You won't keep any of your memories once I've completed your transformation. You'll live quite a blissful life. I'm almost doing you a favor here. Goodbye, Odette. It's been a pleasure knowing you. I feel the same way as Moo Moo. Er... Are those your last words? Or would you like to say something more? Okay, did she make that pun earlier? That's what I thought. Come along now. Time to start your new life. And then we get this scene again. So yeah. Oh boy. Bad ending indeed. I mean, the memory loss is bad enough as it is, but that is a bit of an extreme transformation. So, let's get that good ending now, shall we? As an aside, to anybody who, out there who would decide to punish somebody by transforming them into an animal, don't you think it'd be better to let them keep their memories so they could perhaps suffer being turned into an animal? Kind of like that sheep prisoner that Odette has. I mean, you don't have to erase their memories. How is that even different than killing? Well, it's worse. That's how it's different. Alright, name time. Like I said, I hope you have been paying attention because this game gives plenty of hints about Jane's true name. Well, let's see here. First things first, the fact that she hired the mercenaries was foreshadowed. There is a random journal entry you can read where Jane finds a way to ensure that Odette will remember her name. Throughout the journey, we have the opportunity, although not required, to Take a look at the flowers that we've been collecting, and a couple of them mention Jane's real name. Not to mention, one of the mermaids also mentions Jane's real name, asking Odette about Jane. Although, Odette didn't really remember or recognize that name at the time. And the final thief, before transforming him into a skunk, he attempted to remember Jane's real name, giving out various fake names in addition to having the real one, although it was not made clear which one was correct. But if you've been paying attention, you will know that Jane's real name is Gail. G gail I'm sorry, Gail. I thought the nickname I'd picked out for you was cute. And it was kind of funny watching you get mad about it, so I kept doing it. I guess I took my joke a little too far, huh? Well, I mean, you've been doing it for a year and a half, you tell me. Odette, I'm so sorry I did all this. Yeah, you're right. This has all been your fault. Joke! That was a joke. 
you can't just say whatever mean things pop into your head and they say it was just a joke. I can't? I guess you're right. You know, Andromalius must not have been a very good teacher to Odette. Outside of the magic stuff. You're right, Gale. Come on, let's go home. Oh, and by the way, nice cape. Now, can you please give Moo my tail back? Hmm. Fluffy skunk tail or ropey cow tail? Which is better? Ooh, it's actually kind of a tough choice. <laughs> what? Where did I move? <laughs> okay, Gail. Change me back, Moo. Before it's Moo late. I mean, Moo. I mean, a deal's a deal, I guess. But don't you think you might be a lot cuter as a cow? Well... <laughs> she considered it! She actually considered it! I mean, no way! This tiny little tail is a total deal-breaker. That's fair. Alright, alright. I'll make everything back to normal. Wow! Where'd that hill come from? Where's your house, Odette? You mean our house, Gale, and... Oh crap! Where is our house? Odette! We managed to escape the castle! So, these four were in the mob. What was Orphea doing there? Was she just there for curiosity's sake? Maybe to talk the mob out of it, actually? I could see Orphea doing that, protecting Odette from the mob who is hunting a witch. Primarily because Orphea didn't believe Odette was a witch, not until this whole shenanigans actually started here. That's great! What happened to my house? Well, uh... Some of it is right here. Some of it's down there. Some of it is way over there. At least we don't have to worry about the garden anymore, right Odette? Well, I did see one flower down there. Conveniently enough, it is that pink flower that Odette touched in order to become a skunk. I guess not. Does that mean you don't have to turn anyone into animals anymore? I guess not. Wait, Odette! There's still a flower over there! Shh! You're right, Gail. And as long as one of those flowers is still out there... If those flowers are so dangerous... Why didn't you just dig up the garden and salt the earth so that nothing could grow there again? Or build your house over it? That's a thing you can do? Okay, in Odette's defense... She was not the one who built the house? And maybe Andromalius or perhaps even Andromalius' master could have thought of that. Goodness sakes! You tended this garden for how long? Do you even know the first thing about gardening? Um... 
I mean, I would assume that the evil garden kind of took care of itself, or else all these witches would have just let it die off. The least you can do is apologize for everything you've put us through. Aw, oh, come on! I already did that once today. What that means is that she's very sorry. Don't you put words in my mouth, Gail. How this apologizing is wearing me out. I can't just do it over and over again like this. She has a point. Oh, and for the record, I only ever turned, like, two people who lived here into animals. And they were both real jerks, so you should be glad I got rid of them. The rest were all out-of-towners. Like, why even care? Oh, Dad. Ugh. Fine. I'm... Sorry. I won't turn any more people into animals. Unless they want me to. Woohoo! Or if they're really, really evil. And that is the end of Odette's Magical Menagerie. Almost. There is a little bit of a post-game after the credits, which I am actually kind of looking forward to. But while we wait, I want to give my almost final thoughts on this game. So, okay, yeah, there's some hiccups, and I do get it. Creating a game takes a lot of time and effort, and Willow simply did not have the free time to polish the game up. But, despite the rough edges, you can tell that a lot of effort was put into this game, and I enjoyed my time a lot. The Game Boy Zelda influences were are really neat with the presentation and puzzles. I love the focus on transformation. It's cool that Odette chose to be a skunk. I'm also glad that Odette had her own transformations, but with the mermaid and the cow. I'm also glad the dialogue played with those transformations made them really fun. The story is creative, I really liked the characters, some of the jokes had me chuckling. It was fun exploring and finding all the secrets, I really enjoyed the flavor text with the items. And the ending so far? Pretty satisfying. I'm glad Odette is realizing how mean she's been, and I'm glad that she and Gale made up. And suddenly we have control of Odette. Because why not? And suddenly... Odus Master... Andromalius... Odette... A perennial surprise as always, I see. For one thousand years, none dared to take such drastic action. Perhaps it was for the best. Oh, so you're saying that the previous witches considered destroying the flowers, but chose not to? Or perhaps, as the ancients feared, with the garden's destruction, an unknown door has been opened. Oh, foreboding? I suppose that's a good reason to keep the garden around. Maybe. We shall see. Cherish your peaceful life, my apprentice, while it lasts. And suddenly having the option to save. Well, in that case, this seems like a good place to end today's episode. Yeah, there is the post-game to go to, but um, uh, this episode is already a little on the long side, and the post-game is short, but not that short. So, next time, we're going to have a very satisfying post-game. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.